Hey guys, welcome! This time I did make sure that I have Sauron. <laughs> Last time, we won't go there. Just say almost an hour of no sound. Okay. Just make sure everybody's hunky dory. Should have Alan Wake music going. There we go. Turn Alan Wake a little bit higher because he is kind of muted. All right, let's jump into. I don't even remember where we were. Camera is stationary now. It's bolted to the wall. So even if I move this, my monitor, I can move anywhere as I want. It's fixed to the wall, so pff, it's further away. It's not like up close to me, like where my monitor is. Okay, I do have a new keyboard, so you might hear some clacking noise. That's the reason why. Hard drive. Where are we at? I'll take me a second to figure out where we're at. Oh, we're trying to figure out the cave system. Okay. Yeah, don't look in the light. Stay in the light. My mouse sensitivity up. Holy crap! Woo! That's the wrong way. Okay. I think we gotta go this way. And make sure we have flashbang going because we got to run this way. Ah, uh, hit. Why am I not dropping flashbang? Why am I not dropping flashbangs? What the hell's going on? Why can't I select? I hear you being selected. I have them selected, so I don't know why they're not working. I don't know why my smoke bombs are not, or my flash are not working. Yeah, I'm loading batteries in, but that's the only thing I can do. Okay, am I hitting the wrong button? Am I stupid and not realizing I'm putting the wrong button? Oh, that's right, they don't tell you what your button keys are. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, you want to know what button does what? Fuck that. I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm I have it selected too. It was pissing me off. I'm a good not I have a controller plugged in. All I guess I have to do is just run and hide. So I cannot get my flashback to work. Flashbangs! Flashbangs! Equip the flashbangs! Yeah, you're broken! I can't do anything! Okay... Yeah, I just can't. I don't have any weapons. Yeah, 
Uh, apparently, I don't have no uh, way to. I can't duck. I can't shoot. Is this game broken? Yeah, that's what I want. Stop aiming your damn thing. I can run waste batteries, that's for sure. I can jump, I can squint. I have no clue. Maybe I have to pick one up because I don't have them. In... Oh, guess that. I guess I'm screwed either way. Oh, I ducked there. I can't even duck anymore. I'm fucking ducking here. I'll tell you the game's broken. I have I don't care about my frickin' battery oh that one worked can I get hand grenades in there? can I get my flashbangs now? get away from me get the Only way I can do it. That's the only way I could have done it. Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm eating grapes, by the way. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I don't trust that FBI agent anyways. Now who's Dan Blake? Fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. As far as the cops, I suppose the sheriff is still letting him do that crap. None of my crap work. I have a flare in my fucking hand. Yeah, you can hear 
Shut up, you stupid I crooked cop. So many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. I thought maybe a pick up more would help, but. Oh, now the button works. Great. All right, I got a gun now. Hey, fire! What's happening? Okay. Oh, we got. I feel you. I don't know where you're at, but let's go this way. Know if I was supposed to go this way or that way. I think I might have come down. I might think I might have gone the other way. Yeah, I think the whoa. Do you mind? Whoa. Yeah, he's too far away. on here what's going on here there you go okay can I get more I'm also sure there's a secret whoa nope I'm also sure there's a secret going the other way I have manuscript Okay, but I'm not even running yet. Now can I run? Thank you. I mean, this was the secret. We're leading to a tower. I don't think there's any trains up here. Oh, come on. Could have really used a stamina bar in here, so you know when you... Yeah, this got to be the extra. Yeah, this has to be extra. I don't see no yellow... ...tape. No yellow paint! We're... On all that way, just for a script. No extra things. Okay. What do we get? Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. One second. Game, I don't know what it is. Filter. Gain. Gotta give it another 12 like I did last time. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. If you haven't been here last week, what basically is going on is I'm inside of a book. <clears throat> and that's all I know. What was that? Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it, first with his fists, then a chair. 
it wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. Okay, that was an interesting one. Did we get any more? No. Okay. Make sure there's no yellow tape running around here. No way to get inside this. I think there would be paint on somewhere around here. Okay. Dang crows. Those aren't the murdering crows, are they? Oh yeah. I don't trust those crows, man. Doesn't look like that's all death down there. Up there, I mean, flares. I got like a three flares left, so I just drop down. I see why they call a bunch of the murderers. <laughs> Come on, charge the battery up. It's not like you're on the last leg there, guy. Okay, no ammo and I gotta go that way. Okay, that's fun, gonna be fun. Three, two, one. Last one! Here, take it! here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. How do I use them? How do I use them? How do I use them? And where's the giant gate I'm supposed to use them on? Oh, there's one on the roof too. Generator, where's the generator? I didn't get to see that light. Crap! Chase! The buttons on the back of those things. I just saw a green light when I went past by that one. Did I miss the light? I did. You stupid idiot. Oh, I'm a moron. Can I activate this before they come get me? Okay, what's that say? In light, you can hurt them. No! Clean! Okay.
The darkness controls them. Oh, you gotta be time limit crazy. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't think so, did you? Apparently there's a light over here too, I didn't even just notice. Turn you on too for the hell of it. Okay. Can we explore a little bit here? Okay. Are we done? Oh, is that guy on the roof still? Can I get my vision back? The hell? Okay, that leads to death, so... But be up there. Why is there a way up there? Come on, get your drunk butt up there. You were just up there. Oh great, now I'm stuck. Really? I will get up there. You put that tree there for one reason. <clears throat> really? Nothing up here. <laughs> All that for way for nothing. Okay. Jump on the van. <coughs> okay. Mass script that way. What's this way? Mass script that way though. Thermos. script this way too. Checkpoint. Okay, there it is. I'm going to turn around and get that other one. Hi, that's good. Really? going on over there? Okay. Okay, right, let's get back to the lights. Can we run? Is there like a bad guy I'm missing somewhere? Glitched out somewhere. Hmm. 
No clue. Okay. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. <laughs> no, he felt kidding. wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Yeah, right. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed through the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Oh, that's weird. The blue label's making a... <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have a bulldozer attack here because I don't remember one here. Okay, there's a train. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. He keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. Cooperate with what? The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Here comes the bulldozer. That leads to the track, so let's go this way. Yep. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Trying to figure out who's breathing besides me. Excuse me. Do you mind? Shotgun. Shotgun even loaded. No warning on that one! I just looked that way and I saw something coming to ground. <laughs> That one I heard. Okay, time to get the flake out of here and meet the zombie bulldozer. Who is the hell? Stop it. I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Okay. Follow. Okay. Tell the person breathing behind me to stop. Ugh. That was a bulldozer. What am I supposed to do? 
What the hell was I supposed to do? The opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Okay, I'm confused here. Wait a minute here. So it's got the shadow mass on there, so I can do the shadow mass. Oh, let's see what we got here. So I got shine in there, blood orange. Yeah. And then once we shine that in there, we just gotta try to get past it. You can't kill him, I don't think. I don't know, I didn't try shooting in that, but I drove object. Okay. Do I have it? What do I have? I have five flares, one flash, and a bunch of shot. Shotgun. Okay. Okay. Just run. Run. Take this side. I could find a car from there. Maybe I gotta find more paint? Let's see. Okay. Eat that. Ooh. I see a light. Give me the light. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Oh. Okay. Hold down E to switch to heavy duty flashlight, yeah? Oh, there, fine, it goes. What's so heavy duty about it? Oh, it lasts longer. Okay, okay. Hello? You growled? Thermos. Apparently the thermos are collectibles. I've someone was telling me that in Discord. Hello? Hello. Hello. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, 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 stop. What's in here? Look! Advertisement for energizers. Yeah, 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 yeah,
getting your butt in the door, thank you. Whoa! Boys are hard to kill. Okay, now that I took home with all my ammo, can I get some back? No? Okay. In light, you can harm. No kidding! You moronic. How are we doing on that? Yeah, let's just go with a handgun for now. Okay, right, there's a light up here. Oh, checkpoint. Oh, good, good, good. More flares. I know I gotta start using more flares than my bullets. Did you just move? Oh, yeah, another episode. We take the facts of our existence for granted. Unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durlis. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, uh, I... <laughs> Hell no. Mm. Why you don't get porn on us? Oh, Mister, you are well pleased, Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host a thousand young, and I shall be glorious. Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. Alvin Durlet learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. In Night Springs. Okay. Yeah, there's games in there too about that movie too. Okay. Where, oh where, oh where is the bulldozer? That looks awful easy to get to. Oh, man, screw it. Quit growling in my ear. Oh, we got three of them? Oh, I forgot all about that. Okay, let's go in here and it's safety. Okay, let's go with the order. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. 
I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Ooh. Whoa, that's ahead of the story. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Okay. That's a wicked way to go. Okay. All right. I hope I don't need anything else here. You guys didn't hear that, did you? Again. Why that boulder was that bad? I think he hit me once or twice. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Okay. Daytime, so I don't have to worry about oogie boogies. Woo! Go backwards. That's a drop. And I gotta go that way. I just realized there's a... Yeah, look! Gold mine. Look at this big old drive right here. Why can't I just take the truck and come down this further? Oh my god. I don't want to walk. There's literally a road going this way. At least the view's good. Think of the view. Mondays. Tell me why, that's an interesting game. Figure it out in the first two minutes, and all of a sudden, no, you didn't figure it out at anything. This is what really didn't happen, or did it? Looking for thermos. Ah. Oh, he could drive down here, but no, 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 you can't. Let's go this way. Let's figure out what's over here. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, pretty.
What, what, where, where, who, what, where? Oh, I could drive. Jesus Christ, did I just. Okay, I just slammed in it with my head. Why couldn't I drive the other vehicle down here? Okay. Odd. Okay. Secrets of your end In this one? Oh, I can. Checkpoint. Ah! What do you got to say to for yourself? This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. That's the other thing, too. Keeps on talking about the doc. Take this one now. Differential problem with this one. Come on. Kidnap my wife for you. Oh, I really knocked his bumper off. <laughs> okay. Another radio. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or childish, even? There's plenty of fish to <coughs> see. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because 
She was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know. But, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone. Not like her. And oh. I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the <laughs> past. But I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart back. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Down there, Pat. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to drive this thing. I like driving this thing. I can get the movement before it starts. Oh, fish tail. Oh, the trail goes that way, but there's a door here. I'm just gonna drive everybody nuts by stopping at every single door. Yes, I know my wife is hanging from a balance and probably dead by now. But we gotta check every spot. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. It's a tap pocket. Looks like a museum about to fall apart here. While there were some early residents in this area, the true genesis of the town of Brightfall comes from the founding of the Brightfall Mining Company and the opening of the Brightfall Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked at the mines. <laughs> don't know what that voice was, but okay. Oh, oh that's cool. Hi. I'll meet you guys later. Okay. Yay, checkpoint. Ooh. Nice group. Nineteen seventy volcano eruption below the colored lake. Yeah, we already knew about that one. That's where the house that I live rented Satan wife With kidnapped. Nightingale gone and the night wind I blowing know. in through the broken studio window. Maine <sighs> stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Ah. Ha <laughs> Okay, something over there. Oh, cutscene. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. But yet you're in the middle of the dark with a lot of dead miners. Oh, okay. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. <laughs> 
I'm through being jerked around by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wink. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to get to Mirror Peak. than ever before. Okay, I have a heart attack now, thank you. I help blew up. I knew that was going to open. Anything bright red is going to blow up or open. Hello. Okay. Didn't tell you to do that, but okay. Shine my light on it. Duh. Okay, still not answering. Oh wait, there it is. See it now. I see it. I see it. Yay! More flashbang. Someone was coming behind me. No, they just shut the door behind me. Like, okay. That's a flipping ball. Thing, are you nuts? Oh, it's a piece of metal, not a bowl. I thought it was a bowl for boys' sound. Alright, let me get all charged up. Yeah, it's the first time I've used a batter that fast. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Definitely getting interesting. Hello. What the hell? Nope. I don't think so. Divorce is nice. Divorce is nice. Down over here, make a noise. Can't go that way. I don't see nothing secret that way. Yeah, light box that way. Okay. What? The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Well, you just dropped down, so, uh, duh. Let me guess. All the shiny little wires. Flashbangs I had. Yep, no more flashbangs, no more shotgun. Couple of flares. Yeah, okay. Could have dragged them a little closer and popped them with the barrels, but I think I might need the barrels on the way back. Checkpoint. Thank you. Are you what I'm looking at? That was easy. Great, there goes my checkpoint. Drive me nuts, aren't you? Woohoo! I belt! Okay. Hello! Big scary tornado, the thingy that came in here. You still here? Hello? Hello? Hear you. Where the hell are you? Ah. Be the fat boy. I got a shotgun in my hand.
Take care of the skinny boys. Alrighty then. This guy, I know, I heard him. Where are you guys? Hello? That's creepy as hell, man. Here. Hello? Why'd that thing go in here go boom boom? Creepy. Guys, get down here. Trust no one in the dark. No kidding. Tell me the obvious. Oh, jeez. Like climb, climb what? Climb what? Ow. Now, who keeps walking? Thomas. Follow. Okay, who's breathing now? Oh, he's outside this door. Oh, he isn't. Did I get everything in there? Yeah, I got everything in there. Found the tornado again. That's a big tree. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. No yellow paint, no Can we get a ammo dump? I 
duck. Why is it dead anyway? Shouldn't they be dead? Why aren't you doing anything up there? Where you taking me? Hello? Oh, you're not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Or it might be. I don't know. Okay, it is good. Where is it? Trust no one in the dark. No kidding. Suckers. I couldn't get away from them, man. Okay. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Ah. That the only one? Mo mo Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Okay. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Okay.
holy hell am I coming into now? I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Ooh, come back to you. Yeah. Ooh, you need me to mind him out. Let's go this way. The ejector's behind me, so... Come on, get up there, be hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! Doing that so I can get my objective done. That's way too many people, or whatever they are. I'm confused. Where am I going this way?
Hey. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Shooting? Screw you then, I'll use that. I am only the flirt. God damn tree. Place was dead, a ghost town. Wow, been for decades, maybe a century. Okay, well. really? Anything good in there that I gotta try to find? Nope. Okay. Oh man. Nope, run. I'll be right back, guys. I need to go to the big boys' room. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan.
outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up.
This mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Wednesday? No, two, yeah, Wednesday. Played a whole damn game of where the hell that game was. Mike was off for two, an hour and a half. Did I push it? No, I didn't. Hour and a half, man. Pissed me off. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, yep, that's right. What I need to do is either stop pushing that damn button or figure out how to do a visual on my screen. Although there's a visual on my second monitor that I can't freaking see sometimes, but.
Okay. Oh, what was that about? Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, <sighs> the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Okay. Where are you now, Don? Checkpoint! Oh, great. Another cable car. Just great. Yeah, the last one was great. You know where I'm at. Jump scare me, will you? <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Mamma mia, holy god. What the hell did that come from? Yes, 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 yes. That was a big old train. Nope, 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 don't care. I ain't gonna have to do it. <laughs> I like he just stops and just jumps in the air. Woohoo! Cheers! I. Jeez! 
Jesus Christ! What the hell, man? They fucking double attack me! Holy hell, man! Oh, that that push was something. The eighth deepest lake in the world! 1970s earthquake volcano destroyed it! Yes, we already know about all that stuff. So now we know these new ones will double attack you. Yeah, okay, sure. Geronimo! Why you stop running? Oh, he actually stopped running. I have to walk across this? Dude, that's gonna happen. Going on the same path. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, I guess there is the path. Who's left? Oh, that's me making that noise. Oop. Or it's scuffling. I'm like, whoop. The mob had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Cause that's where we came. Well, that's where we went to. And the little old lady gave us keys, and we're like, okay, we trust you. Okay, we go this way. <laughs> right. Interesting place for a house. No. Uh, there's something wrong with your front door. <coughs> Thermos. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh. There's a wooden door there, too. Okay, fine. Tom, 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 Tom. Who's Tom and why am I looking for him? I curse you, Tom Zane. Tom, 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 Tom. Tom. Did you write this? I missed Tom. Oh, the ash. It's driving me nuts. Talk to me on TV. Who the psychoanalytic woman is this? Oh, now I start getting shotgun shells. Yeah, 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 chill out. I'll be right there.
Ah, I see your problem. You have no roof. Yeah, that looks like like class of floor. That looks like class of floor. I'm going to go get my thermos. Card. Swear I heard someone's. Okay, never mind. Bandits. I'm going crazy. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. A boat? I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Wait! Are you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Play ball, you see, you see? Boss, what? <laughs> Whoa, God dang woman. Tomorrow, you see the rest. Because I can't do anything on this one. I'll say. Can I do it? Yeah. There we go. End of episode three. Tomorrow, episode four. Thanks for uh, staying with me. Fire, I hope you're doing good in school. Sorry I wasn't talking to you. It's more in the game. Um, yeah, we are going to go and... Who are gassy Mexicans up to? What a raid gassy Mexican. Appreciate all the love and help. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern for episode 4. Bye.